Ryan, Connor, Grace. What's it time for? It's time for Maths with Mr. Thomas. Oh yeah, here we are with the circles chapter. We're now on the second equation, lesson two of circles. So, last lesson we were looking at the circles that had the origin as the centre. This time we want to move on because all circles have a radius, but not all circles have the origin as the centre, such as this one here. You can see it's a circle, it's got centre AB, but it doesn't have the origin as the centre the way we did last lesson. Let's put a point on this circle, we're just calling this point P. It's obviously got an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. We could draw in the radius between the centre and this point P, and to find the length of the radius, how do we do it? Well, we can use the distance formula, which is basically your Pythagoras in disguise. Really, you're forming a right angle triangle here, and you're thinking the length along here would be x minus a, and this length here would be y minus b. If you do that, then you get the general equation r squared equals x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared. So using the distance formula, or just really using Pythagoras, that is what you would get. What you'll notice is that we've got r squared equals x minus a, and a is the x coordinate of the centre. And we've got a y minus b all squared, and b is the x coordinate of the centre. And obviously r is your radius. That is the general equation. So let's move on to some examples. Write down the equation of each circle. So, with the first one, if we've got a centre, which is 3, 4, and a radius of 2, what would the equation look like for that circle? Well, the equation is going to be r squared equals x minus a all squared. So let's deal with this bit, x minus a. So if the centre was 3, 4, well, a is the centre, uh, is the x coordinate of the centre. So we'd have x minus 3 all squared. If you've got y minus b, well, b is the y coordinate of the centre, so you've got y minus 4 all squared, and that would equal your radius squared, so that would be equal to 2 squared, which then would give you x minus 3 all squared plus y minus 4 all squared would equal 4. You don't have to multiply that out, you can just leave it in that form. Next one, if you have the centre 5, negative 1, well, again, you're thinking the same thing, it's x minus a, so it's going to be x minus 5 all squared, plus y minus b will be as negative 1, so it's going to be y take away negative 1 all squared, and that would equal r squared. The radius is 6, so that would equal 6 squared. From there, tidy it up a bit. So x minus 5 all squared, I'll leave that. y take away negative 1, you can write as y add 1 all squared, and that would equal 36. Next one, you've got the centre 0, negative 2. The radius this time is 2 root 3. Once again, if you write it in that form, you've got x minus uh, this value a, so it's going to be x minus 0 all squared, plus you'd have y minus negative 2, so y take away negative 2 all squared, and that would equal r squared. So here the radius is 2 root 3, so we've ha we would have 2 root 3 all squared. From there, tidy that up. So x minus 0, well, you could just write that as x all squared. So just x squared. y take away negative 2 would become y plus 2 all squared. And if we're squaring this 2 root 3, it would be 2 root 3 times 2 root 3. From there then, you'd have x squared plus y plus 2 squared equals, well, to multiply this, I'd probably multiply the whole numbers first of all. So 2 times 2 would give you 4. Root 3 times root 3 would give you root 9. Square root of 9 is 3, so you end up with 4 times 3, which gives you 12. And that is the equation of that circle. Let's move on to example number 2. State the centre and the radius of these two circles. So this time you're given the equation, and we're looking for the centre and the radius. So for this one here, I've got an x minus a, so I've got an x minus 1. The value of a then is going to be 1, so the centre will be 1. It's whatever you're taking away, because you're taking away a here, you're looking to see what you're taking away. You're taking away 1, so it becomes 1. And here you've got y minus b. Again, what are you taking away there? Well, you'd have to be taking away negative 7 in order to get plus 7. So y take away negative 7 would make it plus 7, so that is why that would change. 
And from there, you want to write down the radius. Well, you know that's all equal to r squared, so you know r squared would equal 16. And if r squared is 16, well, r would equal 4. Woohoo! Next one. We've got x minus 2 all squared plus y squared equals 40. Again, we want the center and the radius. So, what are we taking away this time? Well, it's x take away 2. So, you know the center, the x coordinate will be 2. And the y coordinate, well, we're not taking anything away. It's just y squared. So, the y coordinate would just be 0. So, you have the center 2, 0. R squared is going to be equal to 40 this time, so R would be the square root of 40. However, don't just leave it as the square root of 40, use some work with thirds and simplify that. So two numbers are multiplied to give 40, you want one of them to be a square number, so you've got 4, which is your square number, times 10. So write that as root 4 times root 10. Square root 4 is 2, so it becomes 2 root 10, and that will be the length of your radius. Ooh, yes. Next one, example three. Find the equation of the circle with center two and negative one passing through five, eight. For something like this, you may wish to go off to the side and just sketch what that would look like. So you've got the center two, negative one, and you've got this point A. The circle is passing through that, so it lies on the circumference, and that's five, eight. For this, obviously you're needing the center and you are needing the radius. Well, the center, you have that. You know it's 2, negative 1, so you could easily get this part here, okay, with x minus a all squared plus y minus b. You just need the center for that. But we'd also need the radius. So how could you go about finding the radius, Madiha? What could you do? Brilliant. Well done. You just work out the length from a to c, or from c to a. So doing that, you could say, again, just use the distance formula. So the radius squared, or ac squared, would equal... Remember, take away the x-coordinates and square that. Subtract the y-coordinates and square that. So you'd have 5 take away 2, all squared, plus 8 take away negative 1, all squared, which will give you uh, 8 plus 1 in the second bracket. Work that out, you get 3 squared plus 9 squared, which becomes 9 add 81, which will give you 90. So r squared, the radius squared, is equal to that length, ac of squared. Uh, which would equal that, so that equals 90. However, you don't have to go further, you don't actually have to work out the length of the radius because in the formula, we've just got r squared in here. Hello. So, because we've worked out r squared, we can just sub that into the general equation. So we can say then that 90 would equal that x minus, well the center here is two, so it's gonna be x take away two, all squared, plus y minus negative one, so it'll be y plus one, all squared. And that would be the equation of that circle. Next one, example four. So A is 2, 5, and B is 8, 13, and they are diametrically opposite. Ooh, fancy word. It just means that they are opposite ends of the diameter. Find the equation of the circle passing through A, B. So how do we do this? Again, if you go off to the side and sketch this, you've got your x-axis, your y-axis, you've got the point 2, 5, and you've got the point 8, 13. You know that they lie at opposite ends of the diameter. So that length from A to B will be a diameter. So you can draw in your circle and it will pass through those points. To get the equation of the circle, remember, you need the center and you need the radius. So the center of the circle, well, how do you do that? Yeah, it's just the center, uh, it's just the middle of this line AB. So you'd have to work out the midpoint of AB. How'd you go about getting that, Ryan? What would you do? Good, add the x-coordinates and half it, add the y-coordinates and half them. So, to get the center, you would do 2 add 8, which gives you 10, divided by 2, gives you 5. And the same for the y-coordinates, 5 add 13, then half it, and you would get nine. So we know the center of this circle. From there, we need the length of the radius. How do you get the length of the radius? What would you do, Sahana? Brilliant, well done, just use the distance formula again. Work out the length from A to C, or from C to B. Doesn't matter which one you use. For this, I am using A and C. We now know this C is five, nine. So doing that, I can subtract the X coordinates. So five take away two, all squared, plus 9 take away 5, all squared. That's going to be this length AC, which is your radius squared. So R squared would equal that. Uh, which will then give you uh, 3 squared plus 
4 squared, which will give you 25. Again, you don't need to go on. You don't need to actually work out the length of the radius because in the formula, you had r squared equals. So you can just state uh, the formula from that. So the center of the circle was 5, 9. So you know then that you will have x take away 5, all squared, plus y minus 9, all squared. And that would equal, well, you know the radius squared is 25. So that would equal 25. Example five, find the shortest distance from the point A, which is 316, to the circle x add two all squared plus y take away four all squared equals 25. So for this one, find the shortest distance from that point to the circle. Well, the first thing you may want to do is to sketch that. Or if you are given the equation of the circle, you could easily state what the center and the radius would be. So the center, well, because you've got two in the brackets here, the center would be negative two. And with the negative four there, you'd have four. So the center would be negative two, four. The radius, well, you know, r squared is 25. So the radius is just going to be five. So we know the center and the radius of the circle. And it's asking us for the shortest distance from the circle to the point 316. So again, you may wish to go off to the side and draw that. So if you draw your circle, just like that, and you've got your center with negative two, four, and you're wanting to find the shortest distance from that to the point 316. So you're really wanting the distance from here to here. You want to work out that. So how could you go about working out that distance from the point to the circle? What would you do? Connor, help us out. Brilliant. Well done. You need to know the length from A to C, first of all. So work out this length from A to C. Again, you could just really use your distance formula. So AC squared would equal, subtract the X coordinates, so 3 take away negative 2, all squared, plus do the same with the Y coordinates, 16 take away 4, all squared. Simplify that. You would end up with 3 plus 2, which would give you 5 squared, plus that gives you 12 squared, which is 25 add 144, which is 169, meaning then the length from A to C, if you square root that, you will end up with 13. Woo, unlucky. So the length from A to C is 13, and we're wanting the shortest distance. We want this little distance from A to the circle. So how could you get that? What would you do for that, Erin? Brilliant, Erin, well done. You are just wanting to take this length from A to C and subtract the length of the radius. So the shortest distance is AC, take away the radius, as Erin just said. Woo! So you'd have 13 take away 5, which gives you, drum roll, eight units. And that is what you would have for your shortest distance. One final example then. Example number six. A rectangle has a coordinates O, so your origin, 0, 0. It's got A, 0, 4, B, 6, 4 and C, 6, 0. Find the equation of the circle passing through all four points. So for this then, you've got your rectangle drawn in between these points, and you are wanting to work out the equation of the circle. The first thing that you have to realize is that this line from A to C will be a diameter. Also, the line from O to B will be a diameter, which means then that the center of the circle we're going to call this point D, it will be the midpoint of these diagonals. You obviously don't need both, you just need one diagonal. So let's just go with A and C. So if you draw that line in, again, you may wish to go off to the side and sketch that as best you can. But if you draw in this line from A to C, well, you draw in the diameter. So the diameter uh, will have, uh, the center will just be at the center of that diameter. So you want the midpoint then of AC, so again, to get the midpoint, you will add the x coordinates and half them, add the y coordinates and half them. That should be dead easy. And you get three, two. So that is going to be the center of this circle. From there, well, how would you, or what would you have to work out next? Uh, help us out, Leah. Brilliant, you'd also have to know the length of the radius or really your r squared. So from there, we can now find r squared using your distance formula once again. So I'm going to use the points A and D. So doing that, I would say r squared would equal, again, I've got A, which is 0, 4, 
and we've got d which is 3 2 so subtract the x coordinates so 3 take away 0 all squared plus I've got 2 take away 4 all squared which should give me 3 squared plus negative 2 squared which ends up to be 9 plus 4 which is 13 so that's what r squared is again you don't need to go on and find the length of the radius because the formula is r squared equals so from there we know what r squared is we know what the center is so we can just put it into the equation and for the equation muzamal what would you have keep going muzamal keep going muzamal brilliant muzamal well done so you'd have x take away 3 all squared plus y to take away 2 all squared would equal 13. Well done. And that is how you would do that. This is the second equation then with the circle. Give these questions a shot in the book. Any problems, just let me know or ask me when you see me. Good luck. Bye.